Welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about something interesting that has recently happened to me in my personal life. Uh, so the company that I work for has recently offered a budget, a $500 budget for employees to purchase anything, gear, equipment, headphones, uh, anything they can think of to help make them more productive at work. So today I want to talk about what are some of the things that I think a software engineer needs for under $500 that will make their life much, much more productive. Now, I think it is very important as a craftsman to have the best tools that you can have to make your workflow much more efficient or much more productive, or at least much more enjoyable. And a mechanical keyboard is one of those things that will quite simply change your life after you've used it for the first time. So the first thing that I can think of here was mechanical keyboard. Right? So as a software engineer, we work with a keyboard literally eight hours a day. Right? We're sitting in front of a computer, we're typing quite a bit. Right? You could be typing a document, a design doc, or you could be typing code to solve a machine learning problem, or you could be typing code to merge two sorted lists. For me personally, I'm a big, big fan of the DAS keyboard. which makes some of the best mechanical keyboards in the market. And I really enjoy like the tactile feel and the build quality of it, right? It literally brings me joy every single time I put my fingers on that keyboard. And I don't know if like mentally or physically, it just makes me much happier and much more productive. And I think that's a good invest in, investment to make. Now, a mechanical keyboard can typically run from $100 to about you know, $300, $400, depending on how much you want to spend. But I think that a mechanical, a good, good mechanical keyboard is one of the best investments that you can make today as a software engineer. And a good set of keyboard is gonna last you for a really, really long time. And if you break it down based on the number of days, the number of hours that you're typing on there, it actually is it actually becomes quite a good investment over the long run. The second thing I would recommend as a software engineer is a good display. Okay? As I mentioned, as a software engineer, you're sitting in front of a monitor or multiple monitors if you're like me, then investing into a good set of display is absolutely critical. With a good set of display, you can actually display more stuff on your monitor. So you could have one side of it, you could have one side of it for coding and the other side of it for reading docs, re reading documentation, uh, for running your terminal, for example. And I think that it's actually quite optimal in the way that how you would kind of organize your um, display. I've seen some engineers who display like their middle screen is for coding, they have documentation to the left side of their monitor, and then on the right side, they have a terminal running. For me personally, I run, I usually go with a two display setup at work, and I have a one display setup at home. Now, the reason that I think investing in a, in a good display monitor today makes sense is because technology has advanced quite a bit in the past few years, and display monitors especially has gotten a lot cheaper in the past few years. So getting a set of like a 4K display or maybe even just 1080p and having two or three of them where each of them costs about you know 150 for example, you can get three 1080p monitors for about $450 plus tax for right under $500. I think that that is a great, great investment for a software engineer. Now, my third recommendation for the tools every software engineer should have under $500 is to invest in a good chair, right? So having a good chair is really, really important because you're sitting most of the time as a software engineer. Now, you could be sitting in front of your monitor or your computer for eight hours a day. 
Now, most people that I see might have a bad posture when they're working. So if you're kind of like me, where you have a tendency to slouch or to kind of lean all the way back on your, on your chair, then you might want to consider investing in a good set of chair. Because a good chair is going to help with your posture, it's going to alleviate some of the stress that you're putting on your elbows, on your wrists, it helps give you this nice, uh, fully comfortable position for 8 hours a day. Now my fourth recommendation is getting a really really good sit to stand desk. As a software engineer, I think the biggest and smartest investment that I've made in the past two, three years has been getting this set of sit to stand desk, right? This desk gives me the ability to change my posture and change the way that I work. When I'm feeling kind of sloggy and, and when I'm feeling a little bit slouchy and not really in the mood to work, then I change it up a little bit. I switch it from a sit in position into a standing position and I think it gives me a little bit more energy and allows me to change my posture for, for a little bit. So it gives me the ability to kind of relieve some of the stress that I have and allows me to change my position into whatever posture or whatever position I feel like working for that day. So this set here is I am autonomous. It comes from a startup that makes sit to stand desk. So I think that there are a lot of different models available in the market today for sit to stand desk. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. I think that today you can probably go to like Ikea for example and get something for close to about $500 that's a good reliable quality that can last you for years to come. I think that the ability to change your posture to change the way that you work is really really powerful and it's something that every single engineer should look into um, for their own productivity now my fifth and final recommendation in terms of things that every software engineer would probably need is a good pair of noise cancelling headphones for me i work in an open space so what that means is you have access to all the people and all the noise that comes with it essentially when you work so you could probably hear people talking now there there are pros and cons to working in an open space which i'll talk about in a next video but i think that when you're working in an open space as most software engineers in the silicon valley are today you probably want to look into investing into a good set of noise cancelling headphones because i found that it can really help you focus and stay in your own realm because software engineering or coding or programming requires a lot of focus a lot of thinking into it now I, i've i've had several occasions where i've been impacted by the noise that's been going around me and i haven't had the ability to focus to sit down and really think about the problem at hand sometimes i would go around in the office trying to find a location or two that it's sufficiently quiet that allows me to kind of pick my to, to, to kind of gather my thoughts and really think through problems, but that is actually quite rare today because the office is expanding, the company is expanding, there's more and more people around there and it's really hard to really focus. So I think looking into a great set of noise canceling headphones is going to be one of the best investments that you can make as a software engineer. For something under $500 right now, you can get all different kinds of noise canceling headphones. The ones that I personally use today is the Bose QC35 ones, so the older generation versus like they have like the QC35 twos now, but I think the QC35 ones are a great great bargain today because the technology is slightly older it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of like the newer noise cancelling headphones but it still has wireless ability it also has great great noise cancelling features from Bose 
and also it's extremely light on your ears so when you put it on you can wear them for extended periods of time which I really appreciate so I thoroughly enjoyed the pair of headphones and I really recommend them for anyone who's looking for a set of noise cancelling headphones in the office Another one that I've heard is really, really good are the Sony XM3s. So I've been seeing a lot of my coworkers at work bringing them to work and I haven't actually tried them yet, but I've heard great, great reviews about the XM3s and they're sort of in the same ballpark as the Bose QC35s as well in terms of the price range, in terms of the functionalities and the aesthetics of it. I don't know about you, but I generally, I want something when I wear them, it has to feel comfortable. It has to fit what I'm, look, I'm wearing them for and it also has to look good as well. So the QC35s fit the bill for me. It's within the price range I'm comfortable paying and it also has all the features that I generally need. Now, if you need something a little bit more, let's say you want to have more control over the noise canceling features or you want a little bit more features that are that the Bose doesn't really offer, then I would recommend looking at the Sony XM3s for your noise canceling headphones. Uh, so if you're looking for a little bit more than the Bose QC35s, then I would recommend looking at the Sony XM3s as a potential solution as well. So yes, there you go. Those are my top five recommendations for things that you should invest into as a software engineer for under $500. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what are your suggestions as a software engineer. Leave your comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.